गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज शशि है सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी मैथ्स ऑफ योर क्लास दिस इज योर बुक नाउ टुडे विल डू एक्सरसाइज टू बी ओके बट बिफोर कमिंग टू एक्सरसाइज टू बी लेट एस डिस्कस वन कॉन्सेप्ट देन ओनली विल एबल टू सॉल्व दिस एक्सरसाइज नाउ इफ वी हैव टू राइट एनी नंबर इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म एनी नंबर इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म then we have to write in the form of m into 10 to the power n and this m should be m should be greater than or equal to 1 and smaller than 10 okay look at here this m m is smaller than 10 you can see 10 is larger than m and m should be m should be larger than or equal to m means m can be m can be either equal to 1 or more than 1 or it can be m can be taken as 1.2 or 1.3 or 2 or 3 or 7 or 8 or 9 or 9.7 or 9. 9 also we can take but not more than 10 okay we'll see with an example then you'll try to understand this so how to write any number in standard form it can be written as m into 10 to the power n this is the rule for writing in standard form and m should be less than 10 m should be m should be less than 10 and it should be more than 1 or equal to 1 this sign means equal to 1 okay so in this form we have to write now one very very simple example i am taking taking suppose 2000 2000 it is written in usual form we have to write in standard form okay so 2000 can we write 2000 is equal to 2 into 1000 okay 2000 we can write as 2 into 1000 now 2 into 1000 1000 can be written as 10 to the power 3 1000 means what 1000 means 10 into 10 into 10 10 3 times multiplied 10 into 10 100 100 into 10 1000 so 2 into 10 to the power 3 now just look at here this form it is in the standard form or not 2 in place of m we are writing 2 into 10 to the power n into 10 to the power n now you can see into 10 to the power in place of n we are writing 3 so this is your standard form and look at here the condition m should be greater than or equal to 1 so m is greater than 1 that is your 2 isn't it and it should be less than 10 less than 10 so 2 is less than 10 okay one more example i am giving you then it will be clear to you so what is our rule it can be written as m into 10 to the power n this is your rule to write any number in standard form and m should be m should be less than 10 it should be less than 10 and m should be greater than 1 or equal to 1 okay this was our condition okay now one more example i am tell i am taking suppose i am taking 7000 or suppose you say 70000 i am taking okay i am taking 70000 now i have to write this 70000 into standard form it is given in usual form okay so 7000 we can write as 7 into 10000 can we write or not 7 into 10000 7 into 10000 okay 
now 7 into 10 10,000 look at here how many times 10 is multiplied 10 into 10 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 4 times if you will multiply then we will get 10,000 isn't it so this can be 10,000 can be written as 10 to the power 4 10 is multiplied 4 times so we can write 10 to the power 4 ok now just look at here this is in standard form or not it is written in this form or not 7 in place of m I have written 7 and into 10 to the power n so into 10 to the power 4 I have taken it is written in standard form and what was the condition m should be less than 10 so m is less than 10 7 or it should be more than 1 or equal to 1 so it is more than 1 or not 7 is more than 1 so this is your standard form got it so how to write in standard form m into 10 to the power n and m should be more than 1 or equal to 1 or it should be less than 10 so this is your standard form got it okay now before coming to your exercise i would like to discuss one concept which is which you have learnt in class 5 ok shifting the decimal suppose 235.6 ok 235.6 so shifting the decimal how do we shift the decimal ok now if i'll shift if this decimal i'll shift one place left then what we can write 23 point five six now decimal i have shifted one digit left so i can write into 10 okay now if this decimal if this decimal this decimal i'll shift two digit left then what it will be i can write this number 2.356 into now I have shifted two digit left so into 100 two zero I will get if I will shift three digit left then the same number can be written as 0. Point, now de decimal will shift here 0. 0.2356 into now how much will get 1000 three digit I have shifted three digit left so I am getting into 1000 means 30 got it so shifting the decimal left i'll get i'll get in that much multiple of 10 one digit then one multiple of 10 two digit then two multiple of 10 that is 10 into 10 100 three digit then 10 into 10 into 10 that is 1000 okay this already you must have learnt in class 5 and 6 okay now suppose 5, 4, 3, 6.2 okay this number I have got and I have to write this number in standard form this number in standard form so standard form I have to write this number in standard form so how many digit I have to shift this digit this decimal I have to shift here then only it will become 5.4 5.4362 now this is n2 now how many digit i have shifted left 1 2 3 three digit i have shifted left so how much i'll get 1000 okay three digit i have shifted so this part is in the form of m it is less than 10 or not 5.4362 and this part is 1000 now this 1000 can be written as what 10 to the power 3 ok so overall how much we are getting 5.4362 into 10 to the power 3 ok so this is your method to write ok 
now suppose i have to write 15000 in standard form 15000 in standard form so 15000 what we can write 15 into 1000 so we can write 15 into 10 to the power 3 is it in standard form can you say is it correct that it is in standard form no this is not in standard form why why it is not in standard form it is in the form of m into 10 to the power n so this much part it is satisfied 10 to the power 3 we are getting 10 to the in place of 10 to the power n we are getting 10 to the power 3 but this much part is correct but in place of m we are getting how much 15 so is it correct no because m should be m should be less than 10 this is the condition so is it less than 10 15 no so this 15 we have to make less than 10 so how we can make 15 can be written as 15.0 so i can shift this decimal one digit left okay so it will become what 1.5 so one digit i have shifted left so into 10 i can write one multiple of 10 Okay, so one fifteen can be written as one point five into ten. Okay, so this number now one point five. If I am writing this part one point five, then one more ten here it will be multiplied. Okay, so now how much it is becoming? Just look at here. Now fifteen thousand. Once again, I am telling you. Fifteen into one thousand. Okay, now fifteen can be written as one point five into ten. This is your fifteen, one point five into ten, and this one thousand into one thousand. Now this much part, how much overall it is becoming? It is becoming one point five into ten into one thousand. Means it is becoming. 10 to the power 4 okay now is it in the form of m into 10 to the power n is it in the form of m into 10 to the power n or not yes look at here in place of m we are getting 1.5 which is less than 10 and more than 1 and in place of 10 to the power n we are writing 10 to the power 4 so this is in standard form okay so like this you have to write any number in usual standard form from usual form okay now come to the exercise question number 1 1 we have to write in standard form what is there 57.36 this is your question so your question is 57.36 is it in the standard form no Look at here, fifty-seven more than ten. So we have to shift this decimal. This decimal we have to shift here. It will become five point seven, five point seven three six. Now we have shifted one digit left. So we'll get into ten. Okay. So this is your standard form. M M into ten to the power n in place of n. How much we are getting in place of n? We are getting one. Ten to the power n. Ten can be written as ten to the power one also, isn't it? So overall, the answer we are getting five point seven three six into ten. This is your standard form. Okay. Okay. So children, you'll try to do the rest of the questions. Okay. First question I have done. So you'll try to do the other questions. and tomorrow i am going to discuss more questions related to this okay so have a good day and study well okay see you in the next class bye